what's up everybody <laughs> my name is d and i am going to be reviewing rupaul's drag race all stars season six episode three so what happened last time so last time they did a design challenge the bottom two girls was jiggly and yara sophia and Jiggly ended up going home. So, you know, the beginning of the episodes, the girls look in the box and see who everybody voted for. And the box got a little, a little shady to me. And why was the box shady, right? So we found out all the queens voted for Jiggly, but there was two votes for Yara. So we know that Jiggly's not going to vote for herself. So of course she's going to vote for Yara. So who's the second person who voted for Yara? And we found out it was Trinity K. Bonet. Which to me is shady because I feel like the only reason that Trinity voted Yara was because Yara voted for Trinity the very first episode, right? And remember what I said, I said that Trinity was going to feel some type of way. The look in her face said that I was a little bit salty. Even though she said that wasn't the reason, I knew that was the reason. I knew it. So that could be a downfall for Trinity because when it comes to a challenge, you cannot Put your emotions into it you have to understand they're not doing this because they don't like you they're not doing this because they don't want to be your friend it's a challenge like if everybody can stay we'll all choose for somebody to stay but at the end of the day somebody has to go home so now rupaul came into the work room and said that they're going to be doing an acting challenge and everybody has to do a commercial right so i'm automatically looking at pandora because she said that she does commercials for a living this is what she do for her day job so i'm expecting her to be the best but so many people always say like oh this is what i do this is my specialty i'm gonna do good at it and then later when you see how everything came up together then it's like all right what happened this was supposed to be your specialty how did you end up in the bottom all right so the first team is pandora trinity raja and yara right and they are doing um like a fixing service so they have like this little tagline that's like fix it bitch which sounds really cute i know the team is a little bit worried about trinity and yara's history because Yara seems like she's okay, but then Trinity seems like she's kind of holding a little bit of animosity. So the next team is going to be the team of three, which is um, like exorcism type of service. And they're going to be doing like an exorcism through exercising, like actually like exercising, um, which I think is going to be really fun and whimsical. And the team is of Eureka, Scarlett, and Kylie Zunique. Um, I think that they're gonna do great. I like the ideas that they're coming up with. Um, seem like a few of them don't know the exercises, so hopefully that they don't come on set and be a little bit ill-prepared. So the last group is a uh, rent a queen service. So you can rent a drag queen to, I guess, do a service, right? So it this group consists of Silky, um, Akira, Jan, and Ginger, and. I know how all their personalities are very different. Akira is not really over the top, so she has to make sure that she's on the level of the other girls. Jan is usually at a thousand, and hopefully she's not doing way too much, and that she doesn't just seem like she's just crazy. So she tones it down. Ginger, I'm not worried about because she's very funny, so she excels at challenges like this. Um, I think she's gonna really put her comedic attributes into it and it's gonna work really good and silky i'm not worried about either because silky's also very over the top big personality and we have michelle Fassage and ross matthews is actually going to be well not judging but producing and being there to give them tips on how their commercial went so we have the first group who went and and it was worried a little bit about Trinity. I know she was worried about her season when she bombed like her acting challenges, but she actually was really funny. All right, so the second group went next and I think it went well. They had some direction, like Scarlett and Kylie had some direction with Michelle and Ross, kind of just fixing up their lines a little bit so it can flow a little bit better. 
um so did Eureka I think it went well I thought the concept was cute um I think Eureka may have stolen like the whole scene all right so the third group went next and I think that they did okay um Akira needed a little bit of direction also uh, she stumbled on her lines a little bit but quickly got back up there ginger i thought was really funny made things flow um jan was over the top it didn't seem like she was too doing too much and silky was the only one that i worried about because even though she had a lot of scenes she didn't have a lot of lines that she was actually talking in and one of the lines she actually gave away to akira without realizing because she was changing okay so it's runway time and rupaul looks amazing as always and the guest judge oh my god is tia if you don't know tia and tamara the twins who's on sister sister so we have tia i love them i think she looks so gorgeous very beautiful as always right so now the runway is here and each girl has to do uh, a redemption look right so that means that whatever they did really bad in in their season they get to do it over in the runway so the first one is kylie's unique love and she did over her lady gaga look that she did on snatch game i think she looks great i love the color palette of the pinks and she just looks amazing scarlet did over her um interest look from her season so beautiful makeup looks nice nice um gown i love um the theme of the gown it looks really nice um looks like kind of like a saint look very nice um, all right so eureka did her faux fur look from season nine not season 10 so the first season that she was in before she had her leg injury and um i actually don't like this look i feel like the original one looked better uh, I wasn't crazy about this look. Um, it was like this like bodysuit with the fur and her arms. Um, I'm not crazy about the color palette. Raja did over her um, look from season 10 where she had to use like certain material. I remember she used like a burlap material and it was her downfall for that challenge. I think that was the challenge that she actually went home in. So she redid this look and she looks so nice she looks supposed to be like a tree type of look that she wanted and i love the brown gown i love like the little trees that leaves that she has like on her head she looks really nice makeup look gorgeous pandora box did over her look that she did when she was on all stars one um i don't <laughs> i don't know i don't like this look I just don't like it so yara did over her um promo look for season three and i think she looks really beautiful i love the fit of the outfit i love um how she has like one slit going on one side and then like the bodysuit makeup's great the hair looks great i love the braids um i think she looks amazing all right so trinity also did her promo look for season six and she looks so much better <laughs> she didn't even look bad in her promo but she looks really good she has a nice black gown she just looks very ominous like i love the way that she looked i love the gloves uh i think she looks very pretty all right so jan did over her entry look for season 12 and i don't like the dress i get it when she came in it was like a sport type of look like she did um if you don't know like the brand jan sport which is like a book bag thing i actually had their book bags when i was younger um i don't like the dress i feel like if she could have wanted to have a sports theme she could have done something that was much cuter but she kind of did like like if a jersey was a gown that's pretty much what she did all right so ginger midge did over her look for her season and it was supposed to be um like the future drag uh so it's supposed to be like a futuristic theme but i didn't like it um i just i didn't like the outfit i didn't like the the frill thing that's on the side of the pants i wasn't crazy about it it didn't look like wow pizzazz the color was amazing but i don't i didn't like the outfit silky did over her drag family values from her season today she looks very beautiful it's nice that red color again goes perfect with her skin i love 
the the way her body's contoured um the frill i think she looked amazing so far the only thing the problem that i have with her runway it just seems like it's repeating itself we're kind of seeing the same things over and over i keep seeing like the red color i keep seeing that frill even though she looks really nice in it i'm ready to see something else so hopefully next week she actually doesn't bring that red frill for her next outfit but she does look good so akaria did over her caftan now if you remember her caftan for her season that oof like ross was not feeling that caftan look it was so bad but this time she has caftan like this is a caftan look she looks really nice very beautiful put together um i like this look all right now we get to view all the queen's commercials so the first commercial we saw was eureka scarlet and um kylie so they did that exercise queens i thought the commercial was really cute um kylie and um i keep want to say kylie and zonique even though they're the same person <laughs> kylie and um scarlet did like you know like very like sexy we're exercising body looks good and now eureka looked crazy kind of like a divine type of look crazy eye color like guts not like guts but look like like vomit or something all over her um they did like the whole exorcism and it was kind of funny in the end when she said that she liked it so much she started working for them and she still had like her little ugly look which was really nice i thought it was a nice cute straight to the point very simple to understand and a funny commercial all right so i like the um commercial with pandora box trinity and um yara and uh, raja i think they did good i like the fix it bitch tagline it worked um it's kind of it reminded me of like one of those infomercials that when it pops up like oh do you have indigestion fix it bitch like it sounded like something like that it was really nice straight to the point it was funny they had like little um funny moments in there when they said like the with the monopoly money um all the personality yara's wacky personality was put in there um their acting was really good everybody did great and each person like nobody overstepped another person they were all in the same level worked together really well and i really enjoyed the commercial this one might be the winner so the last one with ginger akaria jan and silky that one also came out really really good um again silky didn't have that much lines but she was in a lot of scenes uh i think it flowed really nicely i think ginger kind of carried the the um the team because ginger had most of the funny moments um i did like it i think if it was like let's say if the challenge is judged individually then ginger may be the top but um if they're all judged as teams i think this team may be the bottom for me because it wasn't as strong as the other two but it was still a great commercial so here we go with the deliberation so we found out that pandora's box team was the winner and i was kind of worried about them because i was like if they come off a little too overconfident then they may land on the bottom but pandora came through i thought out of all the girls that pandora was actually going to be the winner but it was trinity who was the winner and i feel like she got her redemption from like her other acting challenges and she came off so confident on set she had so much fun with it and it showed it showed and it showed in her performance and i believe that she deserved the top so i really do agree with that judgment and the bottom queen was the um team with silky in it and akira and um ginger minge and jan like all of them are in the bottom so i don't know if i feel like all of them should be in the bottom but since they are judges teams um this is like the most girls that we had in the bottom so far so we have four people who could potentially go home and i think out of the worst ones that was there would be akira and silky and the they kind of threw themselves and said you know what i think we did do the work so that trinity felt some type of way because everybody was just kind of over talking and just saying you know what this is why i should stay this is why i should stay and i understand 
why everybody would just immediately came in and started pleading their case because this is the first time we have four girls in the bottom like it's too many choices for people to go home but it's like they didn't really take that time to congratulate trinity and say you know what this is your first win um with the challenge and since everybody else got congratulated we should take the time to congratulate you too so i know she felt some type of way with that, about that the only thing i didn't like what trinity did was when each girl was trying to plead their case she was telling everybody you're good you're good you, you know you're good you know you're good if you're telling all four girls you're good who are you picking to go home? Now, Trinity got ready for her lip sync, and we found out that she was going against Laganja Estranja. Um, Laganja, it's funny because they were actually in the same season, and Laganja looked amazing. That split she did coming in was like. Now, Trinity was a lip sync assassin in her season, but so was Laganja. And, you know, those splits and what she can do. Ugh. I don't know I I I was hoping it was probably gonna be another tie but it ended up being Laganja who won um, she came in hot so if you wasn't like she was on 10 so if you wasn't gonna match her energy or be higher than that she was gonna win and we actually found out that Silky went home which which hurt and episode three is around the time when you start seeing your favorites go and that was a favorite that went um silky just she upgraded herself so much but i can see why she went home it's because like we know how big of a personality silky is and she kind of held herself back she was kind of scared to show who she was because she didn't want to be over the top to the point where she wasn't the silky that we know and i think that had to her performance a lot so i do agree with silky going home because of that reason but other than that it's like oh it was too it was too soon like but then again it's like who to pick to go home i wouldn't know i wouldn't know i don't want to see a carrier go either so that is my thoughts on episode three. Oh my god guys it's about to get crazy but it is a game within a game so hopefully silky can come back and show off what she has to do and this time bring herself like bring the real silky nutmeg ganache back right so thanks for watching guys i do love you all i appreciate each and every one of you who actually takes the time to watch this video take the time to comment take the time to like take the time to subscribe and hit that notification bell to make sure that you don't miss any other content from me i love you until next time bye guys